Alabama resumes lethal injections with the execution of a man convicted of beating a woman to death. James Barber was pronounced dead at 1.56 a.m. after receiving a lethal injection at the William Holman Correctional Facility in Atmore, Alabama. It's the first execution in the state after Governor Kay Ivey ordered an internal review last November. Two executions failed because of difficulties inserting IVs into the condemned men's veins. In one case, attorneys for inmate Alan Miller said prison staff poked him with needles for more than an hour. An appeal to the Supreme Court was turned down, although three justices dissented. Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote that the court should not allow Alabama to test the efficacy of its internal review by using Barber as its guinea pig. Barber was sentenced for the 2001 beating death of Dorothy Epps. Prosecutors say he confessed to killing the 75-year-old with a claw hammer and stealing her purse. In his last words, Barber told his family he loved them and said he was sorry to Epps' family for what happened. He said he wanted the governor and the people in the room to know he forgave them for what they were about to do. I'm Jennifer King.